All right, let's do another shootout. The Whippet and the Strataliner SD. Strataliner Special Edition is a teardrop bounded edge. It's got the binding. Bound edge, teardrop, low crown. Whip it, it's the same thing. Bound edge, teardrop, low crown. This is more of a 40s package. It's like a 1940s gangster hat. This has got a little bit more of a crossover western package, I call it, like an open road style band and thinner western style banding. So what you're getting is basically a dress hat with a, a tiny touch, like a little flourish of Western, I guess, but not so far as going like with a leather Western band, you know? So um, very popular hat, maybe not so much in this color, but uh, it's super popular. The whip, it's probably more popular, uh, but it's not my size. 57 is even small for me. But uh, that's like the essential 19... 40s, uh, what do you call it, like uh, film noir hat. If you're looking for the classic, classic, you know, the hat from the old movies. Here's a funny story about the whip. It's the first hat I got when I took this job. I went through the whole catalog and studied it first night after I got the job. I said, I want to get the exact hat like they wear in the old movies, you know. So I got this because it had the teardrop, the thick band, the binding, it looked like cool, you know, for doing this and stuff. So if that's what you want, this is it with the low crown. We do have a hat called the Stetsonian, which has the big high crown, but uh, it's got a huge brim, though, so you gotta like a big brim. Strataliner, basically the same thing with a thin band. Now you can change these bands for a thick band. So let's say you wanted to do like a whippet in one of these colors that you just don't have, like a, like a white whippet. You could just change this to a thick bands, you know, could be done. But generally I say, you know, don't start modifying your hats if you don't have to, right? Okay. Let's get back to the Whippet. Differences between the Whippet and the Strataliner SE are almost none, except for the bands. Uh, the crown is slightly higher in back on the Strataliner. Slightly lower here, but doesn't make a big difference. The amount that this hat is higher is like so small and it's in the back that it means nothing. So they're basically identical with different packages, 40s package, crossover western pack. You like thin band, you get this thick band, you get that. Now there's another hat I want to compare the Whippet to. Let's compare it to the Asher. The Asher is like a mini, mini, version of the Whippet. So if, let's say you like the Whippet look, but you say, you know what, I'm tired of this big brim, or I have a really skinny face, I'm this skinny lanky guy, and I want to, you know, small, or I just want to get out of my comfort zone and do something different. Nine out of ten times when I take somebody out of that Whippet and I say, hey, why don't you try something different? I show them this, like, Asher, they take it. They like it better. Uh, even guys with big puffy faces, fat guys, you know, um, they all look good in it. It's the thing about the Asher. It's one of those hats that looks good on, like, everybody. Um, I'm not even doing that, like, salesman thing. It's just, you know, I don't really have to sell these because they sell themselves. They sell out. But uh, it's true. Everybody who tries this likes it. They do the up thing. They do the casual thing. They do the dressy thing. It always looks good. So...